In this series of videos, we've been going through the basic setup for a Brick Breaker app. And in this specific video, we are going to cover collision with the user's bar or paddle. All right, so when we think about the collision with the paddle, we actually have several zones of interest. So let's just consider the first zone on top of the paddle. Okay, so if the ball is entering from this zone, it will go this way and then bounce in that direction. Okay, so that is one zone. This whole top area acts the exact same way. So our zone is defined by our left corner, top left, and our top right corner, as well as our Y being above this boundary line. Right? So our X has to be between these corners, and our Y just has to be above the line, right, in this green area, which is actually smaller y values. Remember, 0, 0 is the top left corner of the canvas, which means as we go up, we're actually decreasing our y values. Okay, so we want to be between our corners and then above our baseline. Okay, so when we think about collision again, we have our options of using the collided with event within the ball or within the sprite. So when the ball hits the sprite, both of these events are triggered. For clarity's sake, we'll just choose this one because we know that the ball will interact with other sprites later on in the game if we've played Brick Breaker either online or otherwise. Okay, so the first thing we need to check in this instance is if we actually hit the ball. All right, so we get this other, did the player sprite collide with the ball? Once we know it collided with the ball, then we can talk about which areas do we need to bounce from, okay? So the first area is the one we just talked about. We'll name that area one. The second area Right, is down here. The third area will be over here, and the fourth area will be over here. Okay, now when we did collision earlier, we said there are eight edges the four we think of, as well as four corners. We're going to ignore the corners for now to simplify the collision detection we're thinking about, okay? So we want to deal with area one, which means that our X values have to be between our top corners and our Y value has to be less than the Y of our top corners, okay? Remember, we wrote procedures to get those values. So that makes it a little bit easier. So we have to check, to ask a question again, to determine where our location of the ball is in comparison to our region that we're trying to check. All right, so if the, we want to compare didn't grab the block. Want to compare 
our balls x value to the top left x. So we go to our procedures and we get top left x and our balls x value should be greater than or equal to that. So if we look at our handy diagram again, greater than or equal to the x value for our top left corner. So anything on this line will be fine, right? Anywhere, any x value that's greater than or equal to that. Okay, so we also want our x value to be less than or equal to our top right x. Okay, so when we think about that, we want to the left of our top right point. So those two things have to be used in conjunction, right? We want both of those to be true, to the right of this point and to the left of this point. So we have to use our AND block to combine those two questions. All right, but we're not done because that only deals with X's. And we also need to deal with the y. So we have to have a third comparison, sorry, and we say our balls y will be less than or equal to the y of either the top left or the top right. So anywhere above this line. And so both points will have the same y, so we'll just grab the top left y. All right, so our y has to be less than or equal to the top left y. And that defines our entire region. Right? All of these questions have to be combined to define our region. So if we think about our x's, they have to be between the points, and our y has to be above the paddle. Okay? So that's our region. Oh getting a little long so we'll move it over here and we want other regions so we have to ask questions about those other regions All right so as we said we defined one and two to the opposites right because they're both going to use the x value from our points so we can duplicate that and we'll say, okay, now we have to ask the question about region two. So it's gonna be greater than or equal to our bottom left X and less than or equal to our bottom right X. And then greater than, right, down here, down here has to be greater than the y for our points, okay? So we're moving down, which means our y is increasing, so it has to be greater than, okay? So our y will have to be greater than or equal to our bottom left y. So that defines the second area. Okay, so let's think about what we want to do in these areas. We want to bounce the ball in area one 
similar to when we were bouncing the ball off an edge of a screen. So if we think about the edge of a screen, we can just draw a quick shape for that. And when we bounce off the edge of a screen, we think, okay, we have four edges. We're going to bounce like this. We're going to bounce like this. Or like that. Or like that. The arrows can go in either direction, but we see the point of our bouncing. And area one actually matches up with our south edge. Area two would bounce like that, and it matches up with our north edge. Okay, so we have those edges, and as we discussed, they're just values, and we can store those in variables. So we're going to go ahead and set up a bunch of different variables for each of the edges. Okay, so our north edge, south edge, west edge, and east edge. And as we said before, our north and south are opposites, and our east and west are also opposites. Okay, so we set up our variables as such. All right, if we're looking at our edges diagram, we have north, northeast, east, south, west, all right, and all the corners should be included in that as well. North starts at 1, 2, 3, 4, and then as soon as we get to south, we go to negative 1, and we count negative 1, 2, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Okay? So we're leaving off the corners for now, and we'll just deal with the main edges. All right? So when we go off of area 1, like we said, we are going to act like we are bouncing off the south edge. So we just go get our procedure for bouncing our ball and say, okay, we want to bounce our ball in each of these cases. We're going to bounce our ball. And then we have to specify an edge. So we can just stick the number in there to simulate, hey, we're bouncing off the south edge. We're not actually bouncing off the south edge, but the calculations will be similar because our bar, our player's bar, will be parallel to the south and north, east and west edges. All right? So the same can be done or area 2 that we have set up and that is similar to the north edge so we grab the north edge and bounce the ball okay so then we want to set up area 3 and if we look back at our diagram area 3 our x value now is only one value, but our y value has two. So we have to be between the y for our top right and our bottom right, and greater than the x greater than the x for the top right point. Okay? So now we're dealing with y's instead of x's, whoops, 
So we're going to take our block and build something similar. Right? We're going to need three values again, but the x is only one. So we're going to compare our balls x and make sure it's greater than our, bot, our top right x. Right? If we look at our diagram, we want the x of our ball to be greater than our top right x. Okay? So now we want to go through and set our y to be between our two points. So it has to be greater than our top right y and less than or equal to our bottom right bottom right y okay so we get greater than or equal to our top right less than or equal to our top or our bottom right all right so we get between these two points and to the right and that's area three so if we go ahead and duplicate that area four will be similar except our x has to be less than or equal to now and it's going to be the top left x point and our y's stay the same except we're going to use the top left point and the bottom left y so top left y bottom left y so our y has to be between those and then our x has to be less than and so if we look at our diagram again to figure out where where we should be bouncing right our bounce for three will come in and go out like that so that is similar to our west edge and four will be similar to our east edge so in our third case we take our west edge in our fourth case we take our east edge all right so now we are in the top right okay and this would be the basic setup for our collision so we can go through and test that now that we have a large block and we can test whether our ball is bouncing correctly.